American fighter jets may soon be part of a three-way agreement to get more military support into Ukraine. A plan is being discussed to provide U.S. fighter jets to Poland should Poland give up some of its fleet to Ukraine. The U.S. saying it does not see this as an escalation of tensions. No, that, that, that gets a green light. In fact, we're talking uh, with uh, our Polish friends right now about what we might be able to do to backfill uh, their needs if, in fact, they choose to provide these fighter jets to, to the Ukrainians. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky pleaded with U.S. lawmakers for more air support during a Zoom call. On Capitol Hill, there is rare bipartisan support for getting more planes to Ukraine and for banning Russian oil and gas imports. It's the people in my state of West Virginia mm -hmm. believe it's basically foolish for us to keep buying products and giving profit and giving money to Putin to be able to use against the Ukrainian people. That's exactly what he's doing. President Vladimir Putin has said Western sanctions are akin to an act of war, while his defense ministry warned if neighboring countries allow Ukraine to even use the airfields, that country would be considered involved in the armed conflict. In trying to keep the lines of communication open, the French president says he spoke with Putin and then later Zelensky, tweeting out, we are striving to preserve the integrity of Ukraine civilian nuclear plants. In addition to other priority demands, we presented to Russia a ceasefire and the protection of civilians. Allies don't appear to have much hope Russia's assault will stop anytime soon. I think we have to be prepared uh, for this to last for some time. The U.S. is now looking at more long-term support. This week, Congress is expected to pass a $10 billion aid package, which includes more money for the refugee crisis and for Ukraine's security. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.